Jeff at Cutter Masters. Today we're going to cover the setup and operation of the GS1 drill point grinder. The GS1 will sharpen from 1 8 to half inch, either carbide or high speed steel, from 90 to 140 degrees. So on the GS1, we have an off on switch, 110 volt power. We have the timing shelf. Then we have the, uh, the grinding shelf over here, and this is an area for back splitting. This is where the collets are stored. They're standard ER20 collets. Okay, here we're going to show you how to select the collet and set the drill to time it for sharpening. Just take the drill and put it into the collet until you find one that it fits. With your collet chuck, insert the collet into the collet chuck under the lip. Screw the front on, put your drill in, set the timing to the diameter of the drill. In this particular case we've, cho we've chosen a 9 millimeter collet, so we will set this to 9. Uh, all this does is raise and lower this lip, which affects the rotation of the drill in the collet chuck. Then you insert the collet chuck into the timing shelf, holding it all the way in against this pin. Hold the drill in so that it's all the way pushed forward, and then tighten it up. It should be free, and the flat here should orient with the flat on the drill, and then you're timed. So now we're going to sharpen our 15-inch drill. Uh, so we're moving over to the sharpening shells. <clears throat> the angle is adjustable here from 140 to 90 degrees. In this case, we're going to sharpen it at 118 degrees. To, you insert the drill here and you rotate it to, to grind the cutting lips. And then this is for back splitting. So we'll turn the machine on. We're already set to 118 degrees. Simply insert the drill. I spend a little bit of time in the heel and then rotate towards the lip, flip it around to the other side, plunge it, rotate it, go back again. You essentially should grind until it's uh, not making any noise while you're bearing in on it. So now we've produced the, uh, the two cutting ends. It's a helical tip. Now we're going to back split this drill. We do that by inserting the drill up in the splitting shelf. Just drop it down, rotate it left and right until it hits the stop. Go to the other side, drop it down, left and right, bring it out, and then there's your uh, back split tip. Yeah, I'm just gonna... for a couple seconds. Center cutting. Okay, here we are. We're going to sharpen an eighth inch driller, number 30, I believe, to show you how fast it can go. So this is three millimeters. We'll set the uh, timing shelf to three millimeters. Insert the collet chuck into the, rotate the drill till it's timing, give it a snug. It should rotate freely up against the stop. If it seems to bind here, then the drill is too advanced. Have a look at it, see if it looks right. That looks about right. Come over to this side. That looks pretty good. Now we'll back split it. And there's your 1-8 drill. Okay, let me zoom in and hold it for a second. 